Hey guys, welcome back to Vios Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And today we're gonna talk about this uh, really, really cool classic BMW. It's a 1981 BMW 733i. It's a BMW E23 chassis. It's a really, really cool and old school BMW. So uh, there's uh, just a short backstory uh, about this car. So I was just literally like, like as you guys know, I just browse sometimes and I look for, you know, just different cars that are for sale. So this is uh, the car that was actually for sale uh, by the owner. The owner is actually really, really cool. Uh, he loves classic BMWs. He's actually done a lot of uh, work to this particular BMW. Uh, he did like uh, he actually uh, replaced the rear main seal. He had some other work done. The transmission was actually rebuilt on it, and he did quite a bit of other work. Um, and he even like you know sent me the messages and uh, you know explained what was done uh, to this car. So it's really really awesome. He put a lot of love to this car, and it's awesome. Uh, he's slowly but surely sorting this car out. However, when I saw his ad, he was actually selling this car non-running and he was actually struggling to get this car running. So I decided to go ahead and message him. And uh, he's actually near Seattle, Washington State, United States. So I decided to text him. So we were talking, we had really, really long conversations and I was actually explaining to him and I was helping him out on getting this BMW running because it wasn't running, it was the car was cranking 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 but it would not start and he told me that intermittent uh, sometimes intermittently it would actually like start and run and then it would stall out so but most of the time it was just literally just a crank no start situation so um we started talking uh and uh i had to you know pull up some wiring schematics and analyze those wiring schematics for that car and how the ignition system is uh you know operating because he told me straight right away that uh, there was no spark basically coming to the engine so uh, by the way the engine is really really interesting it's an inline six old school bmw uh engine i really really like those engines they're actually they're not you know they're actually reliable i really like them and um it has also you know the engine is made it to automatic transmission um other than that everything is awesome so what we did with the car is like i told you we were just literally like texting each other uh, for a while and um you know eventually we got this car to run so since the owner told me that there was a no spark situation i literally started analyzing the ignition system of that engine and that car so it literally it, ha uh, it has a, a mechanical uh spark distributor basically ignition distributor and you can also adjust that distributor um and what i told him to do is he told me that he already replaced you know he tried replacing the ignition coil he installed a new ignition coil he installed a new um you know new i think new spark plugs and wires and distributor cap but that did not help that did not fix the problem the car was still cranking and not starting so i started analyzing the wiring schematic and i told him what to test and how to test it so we went we went ahead and i told him to remove the distributor cap so he removed the distributor cap and i told him to connect uh, to disconnect the connector from the pickup on the a distributor uh itself so he did that and then i told him to grab the multimeter put it to ohms setting and to connect those uh two um leads to those two pins on the distributor itself on the pickup uh so once we did that and i told him just to you know monitor the a reading on the, the multimeter and to crank the to crank crank the engine at the same time sorry i'm just really tired today but uh i just really wanted to share this story with you guys so um this is the video you know in a couple of seconds you guys are going to see the video how the engine was cranking and how the multimeter was little like pulsating it was showing ol and then it was showing the reading which is that's what it's supposed to do uh it's basically like on and off signal right every time you crank the engine or when the engine's running it's a little depending on how many rpms you have at the moment uh, that pickup is going to be like moving you know like on off on off on off so here's the video So as you saw, the car was cranking, cranking, but not starting, but you saw the reading on the multimeter. Uh, it was showing the proper reading. Uh, that means that everything in the distributor itself and the pickup is fine. So 
and then uh, you know I made sure uh, that we're getting actually power to the ignition uh, or to the ignition coil itself so there was power coming from the ignition switch to the ignition coil uh, itself but what was happening is uh, as soon as you crank the engine you're supposed to get a pulsation on the test light but it was not pulsating at all so then we started checking you know I told them to check the ignition uh, control module so long story short like I don't want to like overwhelm you guys but I told them to go ahead and order like we did the uh, most of the wiring checks and all the wires were okay there was no broken wires coming from the uh, you know ignition control module to the uh, pickup itself on the distributor and there was nothing else that was broken or out of the ordinary uh, so literally I just told him to go ahead and order another ignition control module so he ordered a brand uh, where I think it was a refurbished uh, ignition control module which was like I think around $300 or something like that so he installed that and the car is finally running uh, and just to tell you guys the car was sitting for a while on jack stands because they could not he could not figure out the pr issue with this car but I'm just so happy that you know I helped him save this amazing machine uh, amazing classic BMW and another amazing car is saved guys don't forget to love and save these amazing classic cars classic Volvos classic Volkswagens classic BMWs classic Mercedes all of that guys they will never ever make such amazing cars anymore so anyways these couple last clips guys are going to be the startup video for you guys of that bmw and also the test drive and i'm so sorry the quality is probably not going to be the best because those uh video clips that the owner sent me were actually sent through facebook and facebook sucks and it just downgrades your quality uh, the quality of the videos that you know you send to another person or whatever so but still uh please enjoy these amazing moments and some amazing pictures of this bmw and let me know what you guys think and uh this bmw is actually currently for sale for a pretty good price so maybe you guys are interested uh it's not too far from seattle washington state uh pacific northwest united states just giving you all these details if anybody is interested you know the owner put a lot of love and care to this car and we're just looking for a good home for this car but other than that, I just wanted to share some amazing, cool stuff that I also do on the side. Now, it's literally, I don't, you know, I, I don't charge money for that. I just, you know, I really love classic cars so much. So, you know, I just feel so bad. And I just literally, I just go ahead and, you know, message the owners and I help them out. I help them with, uh, you know, guidance and saving these amazing classic cars so hopefully you guys are doing the same way it's the same thing and hopefully you guys are saving these amazing cars thank you so much for watching and go ahead and watch these couple clips you guys are gonna enjoy this amazing machine All right, guys, so if you guys are interested in this BMW, uh, let me know. I'll give you more details. I'll actually, you know, uh, tell the owner or I'll give you the contact information of the owner so you guys can go ahead and link up and talk to each other if you have more details. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, shoot me a message on social media or down below and let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to do, if you guys are interested in the car or just in general. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments. And um, yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to save these amazing classic cars. Take care.